Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Grandma. Only Happy birthday, birthday to you and many more. <laughs> The journey of life starts with a fascinating race of billions of sperm that drives to reach a finish line. But only one can make it closer to the end. When it reaches the peak, conception occurs. Half of man's and half of the woman's chromosomes combine that form a new human life. In just a single sperm that unites with an egg begins the story of all of us. The first stage in the developmental stage is the prenatal period that occurs before birth. It includes the development of the embryo from conception to birth, and it involves growth to a single cell. The three stages are germinal, embryonic, and fetal. The germinal stage occurs the first two weeks. During this stage, the zygote begins to divide and make its way down the fallopian tube to the uterus. The zygote first divides into two cells, then into four, eight, sixteen, and more of the same. Cell division proceeds quickly amid a round week long travel from the fallopian tube to the uterus divider. The cells create into what is known as a blastocyst. The blastocyst comprises three layers, each of which develops into distinctive structures within the body. First is the skin and nervous system, ectoderm, stomach related and respiratory systems, and third is mesoderm, the muscle and skeletal systems. When implantation is successful, Hormonal changes stop the typical menstrual cycle and cause completeness to have physical changes. In the embryonic stage, the mass of cells is known as an embryo. The starting of the third week after conception marks the beginning of the embryonic period, a time when the mass of cells gets to be unmistakable as a human. The embryonic organization plays a vital part in the improvement of the brain. Over the following few days, more edge frame and overlay internal until an empty tube is shaped. Once this tube is entirely shaped, cells start to create close to the center. The tube begins to close and the brain vesicles frame. These vesicles will inevitably create parts of the brain, including the forebrain, midbrain, and hindbrain structures. By the conclusion of the embryonic period, the brain's essential networks and central nervous system have been established. At this point, the basic structure of the fringe nervous system is additionally defined. Approximately 2 to 7 months, the fetal stage will occur. During the third month of gestation, the sex organs begin to differentiate. By the end of the month, the structures of the body will form a means of the period from 7 months until birth, the fetus proceeds to develop, put on weight, and plan for life exterior the womb. The lungs start to expand and contract and planning the muscles for breeding. Comes after a prenatal stage, the second stage is infancy, from birth to 2 years. Normal infants are proficient in sensation or respond to sensory information in the external world at the stage of infancy. Motor skills or behavioral abilities develop in combination with physical growth. In other words, infants must learn to engage in motor activities within their changing bodies, milieu. In the first year, babies learn to focus their vision, reach out, explore, and learn about the things that are around them. Cognitive development means the learning process of memory, language, thinking, and reasoning. Learning a language is more than making sounds of saying mama and dada. During the second year, toddlers are moving around more and are aware of themselves and their surroundings. Their desire to explore new objects and people also is increasing. Toddlers should also recognize the names of familiar people and things. Form simple phrases and sentences and follow simple instructions and directions.
The third developmental stage, called early childhood, ranges from 3 to 5 years old the end of infancy. Early childhood is the foundation of life because the children in this stage learn the basic skills to live in this world. Children learn to become more self-sufficient and take care of themselves. Also, it's a period of slow growth and rapid development. Children develop tremendously in their physical, social, emotional, and gross motor skills. They also develop their cognitive, language, understanding, moral values, and shared interests. This stage is labeled as the problem, the trouble sign, and toy age according to parents. While in psychologies, it's referred to as a gang age, age of conformity, period of creativity, the explanatory and questioning age which the child is viewed as an active seeker of knowledge. Moreover, they are preparing their minds to read and spend more hours playing with other children at their age. At this stage, children can interact and socialize with their peers and they are learning to write and draw creatively. Next is middle and late childhood expands between early childhood and adolescence. Approximately 6 to 11 years old, children gain greater control over their body's movement, mastering many gross and fine motor skills that eluded the younger child. During this age, brain changes enable physical development and contribute to more excellent reasoning and flexibility of thought. School becomes a big part of middle and late childhood, and it expands their world beyond the boundaries of their own family. Peers start to take center stage, often prompting changes in the parent-child relationship. Peer acceptance also influences children's perception of self and may have consequences for emotional development beyond these years. Afterward, 10 to 12 years of age, ending up to 18 to 22, is adolescence transition period wherein children begin puberty and rapid physical changes. These changes include the gains in weight, body frame, and sexual characteristics such as enlargement of breasts, growth of pubic hair, girls' menstruation, and reproductive organs and genitals that fully develop. Besides the physical, the intellectual ability of adolescents is a part of changes. Their thought became more logical, abstract, and idealistic. They can deal with obstructions, test hypotheses, and see infinite possibilities. In the phases of adolescence, individuals address the essential exploratory task of finding out who they are, where they are in the world, and where they want to go in life. Along with the search for identity comes the struggle for independence. Next is during the early adulthood stage, our body has reached its peak. An individual is starting their personal and economic independence and aims to establish their career. Moreover, a person seeks intimacy and a long-term relationship. In this period, they are expected to settle down, have new commitments, and change of values in life. They might also join groups such as social civic organization for schools, churches, and they learn to be a parents and manage to deal in household together with their children. Around 30 to 60 years old, middle childhood occurred, it helped adolescent children become happy and responsible adults. Developing adult social and civic responsibility satisfactory career accomplishment. Creating adult recreational activities when repairing to one's spouse as a person. Accepting the psychological changes that come with middle age adapting to the presence of aging parents. At last, the age of 61 and up is what we call late maturity. Those are declining strength and health, retirement and reduced income, spouse debt establishing, relationships with people of one's age group, adequate living quarters, meeting social and civic responsibilities. Understanding the theory of soundtrack about human development stages can offer a more in-depth insight into how the human body and mind changes over the years. This theory also provides insight into how parents, guardians, and teachers can communicate with young children in a way that they can truly learn. Take time to watch and analyze what the child is doing, and you recognize what is happening in their time frame, allowing you to get more knowledge about the child.